Miss Cracker, it is an absolute pleasure. Thank a you for pleasure, seeing me. A pleasure, my darling. So you yeah. are about to go on stage. How do you feel when uh, when that moment's approaching? Do you get nervous? Or... No. no. I, I only get excited when I'm backstage and uh, the music starts, the intro music starts out. I'm like, oh my god, I get to be out there. But until then, I'm just kind of like, hmm, 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 hmm. Like it's laundry day, you know what I mean? <laughs> nice. Well, when you're on the stage, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people in the audience kind of watching, thinking, I would love to do that one day. How does someone become a drag queen? What's the kind of journey? What was it like for you? I mean, it's the same way that you do anything. You say, this is what I want to do. And then you give up almost everything else that you possibly can. You, uh, for, first and foremost, I think that you give up brunch with friends. Uh, and I mean that metaphorically, yeah. like don't go out with your friends anymore um, and, you know, put relationships in the back burner. If they happen, they happen, then that's fine, but don't put any effort into them. Um, and then make sure that, uh, yeah, you've trimmed everything away until it's just that, and then that's how you do it. If you don't want to, like, be a drag queen, you just want to do drag sometimes, yeah. then that's fine too, because it can be a magical thing. But if you want to be a drag queen, then, you know, just give everything else up. Catherine Hepburn has an acting range from A to B, and girl, you are a class A actor. As in A to A, just A. How old was you when you realized that's what you wanted to do? I did it for like five years until before I realized it was what I wanted to do. Yeah. And then, so I must have been 30. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm 35 now. You're welcome. <laughs> you look very... I'm 36. I wish I looked that good. Oh, I know. This is all duct tape and <laughs> makeup, oh, though. Yeah, <laughs> everything snatched back. Oh, hello. Did you have a full support from friends and family? Absolutely. And yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. I mean, I had less support from my friends than I did from my family because they were like, we're going to miss you, you know? Yeah. And I was like, bye. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of support as well, because you've got millions of followers on Instagram and, and different social networking mediums. Mm -hmm. um, do you find generally that we are in a more supportive society more than ever, or is that too much of a, a deep question? A supportive society? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? I don't, no, I don't think we're in a supportive society at all. No. I think you can create a supportive bubble around you, and that's what I try to do with my drag, is create a, a couple of rooms in the world where people feel happy and supported about who they are. Yeah. But I don't think that's the general trend. You know, I think that we're thinking all the time about how to change um, Facebook, what remains of her, um, mm. Instagram and Twitter to be more su supportive spaces because that's what they're not right now. Yeah. yeah. And I've got to say good on you as well because I know you do a, a lot of campaigning to make changes. So mm. keep, fighting the, uh, keep fighting the battle. I know, so especially when it comes to women, which is what this uh, current show is about. I mean, we're now we're leaving the UK shortly, but we'll be at the London Palladium on the 23rd of February. There you go. And so everyone should come. Um, <laughs> it's, a happy, it's a happy show. It's a show um, designed for the number one audience of drag, which is women. Yeah. Um, but it's also designed for anyone who wants to be an ally to women. So I think it's, it's a fun show, it's an important show, and uh, it's actually a show that I never get tired of doing, which is saying something, because I bore <laughs> easily. And I'm curious as well, because obviously I've seen before and after pictures, you're looking very different. Do you, do you feel different this way as well? Like more, more confident when you're on stage? Is it like almost like an alter ego or...? No, but, but being on stage I do feel confident though because I know what I'm doing. Yeah. And when I'm in the regular world as, you know, off stage, I tend to stumble over furniture and over my words and everything. Um, I just am an awkward person, but on stage I do well. I probably because there's no furniture around. You know what I mean? So I feel very confident up there, yeah, and that's yeah. where I, I like to be. It, that that hour is going to be the best hour of my day, and Fantastic. the rest is just life. You know, and you get through it so that you can do it again. And something you said very quickly before the interview started as well. You've got your YouTube channel, which is, if you would like to. Oh, I mean, it's just after me. But my <laughs> my favorite uh, show that I put out is Review with the Jew. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm doing it again for season 12 of Drag Race, which has just Fantastic. been announced. It's yeah. not going to be as great as uh, RPDR UK, which was a sensation. Yeah. Um, but I imagine when season two comes out, we'll review that too. Yeah. And you said about moving the channel into a different direction. Is that, is that what you're referring to, or is there something else? Yeah, we're starting we're starting a new series. We're gonna um, kind of like lift uh, Review with the Jew up, and then we're gonna come up with some new content that we're gonna share with the world. But I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> I'll just say keep your eyes peeled, as they say. 
yeah. fantastic. Well, yeah. I'm very much looking forward to the show. If people want to come and see you live, how can they do so? Yeah, do, follow my Instagrams, first of all, because that's where I live. That's my home. Um, but yeah, the London Palladium on February 23rd. Um, just, just come, bring your friends, bring your family. Um, I want to just pack the house out so we can have a wonderful time. The more, the merrier. Well, there's a lot of excited people out there. I think it's going to be a great show. Uh, Miss Cracker, I've already taken up enough of your time. Enjoy the show. I'm Thank sure so I will. Much, Thank you. Thank, Thank you for coming to visit me. My pleasure. Hi, thank you so much for watching the video, which I'm currently editing right now. I just wanted to quickly film this bit to say that the Miss Cracker interview took place before I saw her live. And I kind of wish it had happened afterwards because I didn't know much about her. There's so much more I would have asked her had I have seen the show first. Uh, but I will say this, get tickets to see her show if you can. It was a lot of fun. I haven't heard such a reaction from an audience in a long, long time. And it's definitely worth checking out.